Hello students. So guys, in this video, we are going to start stanza number 4 of the poem 2 of our book Flamingo. The name of the poem is An Elementary School Classroom in Slum, which is written by Stephen Spender. So let's see, see stanza number 4. Unless governor inspector visitor, this map becomes the window and these windows that shut upon their lives like catacombs. Break or break open, they break the town and show the children green films and make their work run azure on gold sand and let their tongues run naked into books. The white and green leaves open. History, their whole language is the sun. So let's see the new words. Only two new words are there. You will get that is catacombs. Catacombs means underground places. Uh, and the second one is azure. Azure means bright blue color of the sky. So students, here in these lines, the poet says that the government should take notice of the problems being faced by the kids of these slum areas because the elementary school in the slum exists exist for the uh, namesake only. Therefore, the poet requests the authority to change the life of these kids. He urges the government to make the world a reality for them and to help uh, those kids who are trying to achieve their dreams. If the government gives up uh, the system so that map which is there on the walls of the classroom that will become the window from where they can see the world beyond the slum area. The poet here appeals to those who are in power to liberate these children from the miserable conditions of the slum area and enable them to uh, breathe in the fresh, beautiful and healthy environment. They should be able to pass in the open green fields and let them, to, let them run free on the golden sand. The poet visualizes freedom for those for those children. He wants a carefree life where they get economic and social justice. They should be able to learn not from the books alone but also from the world. He wants that these kids can be taken away from the darkness of the present to the bright future. They will then go to the white and green leaves. Here, white leaves depicts books and green leaves depicts the nature. The poet ends on a note of positivity and goals opportunities to be available to those children. The people who strive for knowledge are the ones who create history. The ones who are let, uh, let free are the ones who, who will create history. People who outshine others, who glow like the sun, who break free from the restrictions of their life are the ones who create history. Let's see the poetic devices in this stanza. Here in this line 4, first see the lines like catacombs. So, the lives of the uh, people who are there in the slum media look like the catacombs. Means they are being compared to the catacombs and catacombs are the cramped underground holes. So that's why this is what the lives like. This is similar. Break or oh break. So break, break and one more break is here. So this is what? This is the uh, word is being repeated here. So that is called repetition. So this is repetition here. Next in this line, run azure and run make. In this word run and run is being used again and again in the 
two consecutive lines. It may be in two consecutive lines, it may be in three consecutive lines, it may be anywhere, but it should be in the starting of the uh, lines. So when the same word or the same uh, phrase is being repeated, so that is called an amphora. So this one one is an amphora here. Next, gold sand and green fields. And one more thing is there the sun. These are the symbols which are created to symbolize something. So these are symbols. One more important uh, simile is there in the last second line that is run naked into books the white and the green leaves. Here white leaves are being compared to the books and green leaves are being compared to the nature. So this becomes metaphor. That's all uh, we have completed with uh, this poem number two here.